Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. Uh, today I want to have a little chat about something we do get asked about a lot and I know it frustrates parents enormously and also those who care for children. So sometimes it can be grandparents or someone like that. But what do we do when our children back chat us and are, and are rude? Doesn't that push your buttons? Seriously? Oh my goodness, and I know there's a traditional older style that would say, oh, they just need a good smack, they won't do it then. Well, in actual fact, we've got to look at what's under that back chatting and what's under that being rude. So one of the other things I have to report to you is that it is a learned behavior. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? So one of the things I found was that my boys, um, when they first started at primary school, came home with some of that, and I had to really recognize hang on a minute, they've learnt that and they've brought it home. I don't need to punish them for this, I need to reteach them and guide them around inappropriate use of these words. So again, it's that first time it happens is your best time to start working on it and not in front of any other sibling or anything. We might get up and just say, look, I need you to come with me for a moment and we're gonna have a quiet chat. Because sometimes it's a reaction and it's a response from an irrational place. Sometimes it's happening because I have no other choices in my life or I'm, I'm feeling really angry about something else. Sometimes it's um, I actually want to push my bounds because I feel like I actually haven't got much choice or autonomy or I don't feel important. So sometimes it's other stuff as well or they've seen other kids who they think look cool and they think they'll do it here. So again, it's teaching and guiding our children that it's actually not appropriate in our home or towards grown-ups is really good. But it's not, we don't have to come down really hard. It's we have to make sure we get in early to reframe that, to talk differently. So we've had the quiet chat. So these are the words I don't want you to use again and I really want you to be mindful of being rude to me. Yeah, and we leave it. And then after that, if it comes out again, we might just look over again, go over and give a little tickle on the back and say, Remember what I said about that sort of words and that sort of language? So the gentle reminders means they're not quite so confrontational and we don't go into that power struggle place. Um, another one underneath that is, um, have I given them enough loving connection? So remember I write a lot about micro connections. I often find that they're feeling separated or disconnected or not, their love cup's not full. So essentially I'd look at, it sounds counterintuitive to spend um, some time making them feel more secure and loved and I've got a whole list of possible things that you can do. Some one-on-one -on -one time absolutely fills that cup pretty quickly. So again, it's that sort of a thing. And I'm going to do one little bit underneath about boys when they do this. When boys start speaking inappropriately and unkindly and rudely to mum, I really like the, the most significant male figure in their life. Uh, if it's dad or a grandparent or some uh, uncle, take them aside quietly and say, no, we don't, you don't speak to your mum like that. It's not okay. In a quiet, really firm voice so that they've actually had it called on, but not in a way that makes them feel ashamed because they've just made a lousy choice. So I know it's one of the things that riles us up. And then I want you to spend a few moments thinking, am I really bossy? Do I sometimes use this language? Do I sometimes shout and, and be disrespectful as well? Yeah. We need to make, if we do that, we go, I'm so sorry, that just really isn't the language we want to have around our home. So again, it's a very common parenting thing. We're all going to make mistakes at times, but it's the quiet and warm, responsive coaching of our children to know it's inappropriate and not okay. I hope that's been helpful for you. And if you've had Anything else that's worked that you might be able to share with us, please put a comment or something underneath this. And remember to breathe. And that's all for today.